In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make some money, some starter GP, or just some low level money making methods without needing any money to begin with. You'll be able to start with absolutely zero coins, and you will be able to collect a good amount of money pretty quickly. Now, of course, none of these methods are going to be like 20 million GP an hour or anything like that. But for those of you that need some starting GP, or those of you that absolutely have nothing, or maybe you're just a low level player looking to make a little bit of gold to invest into your character, which is the best way to do it, then these are going to be pretty useful for you. Some of them do have some requirements, some of them have absolutely no requirements. So let's get started. First up is going to be something I always resort to when doing challenges of making GP with nothing. And it it's always works. It's never let me down. It is always around about a million GP an hour. You're not going to want to do it for an hour. So you're probably best to just get some starting GP with this and then do other things. But it's definitely good for getting you started. And that is going to be collecting up some cabbages. Honestly, there's not a lot to this. It is exactly what it is called. You go to the field in Lumbridge and you just pick up as many cabbages as you can bear to do and you take them to the bank and bank them run back and collect some more and that is it you take them to the grand exchange and these do sell pretty okay they're not obviously the most expensive thing in the world but for around about a million gp an hour which let's be honest you probably don't even want to do this for a full hour just get a couple of hundred k and then move on to stuff that's more profitable but these have always been a reliable way for me to actually make a bit of extra money and you can turn this into going and buying runes and doing a rune run or anything like that uh, there's, there's many many ways to make money so long as you already have a few hundred k starting and this will get you that and of course this has absolutely zero requirements so anybody can do it Number two is pretty much similar to the first one. It is just going to get you some starter GP more than likely, but it is between 1.5 to 2 million GP an hour, so a bit better than cabbages. However, this does come second in the list because it has a requirement, which is to complete the Dragon Slayer quest. I do believe you can get a certain amount of the way through it, but I don't know if it's going to be as efficient. I can't check that, but if you completed the quest, you can definitely do this. If you have completed the Dragon Slayer quest, you can head to the Lumbridge Castle and talk to this guy on the first floor. Go through his chat options and select number one, and then you just keep getting given anti-dragon shields. He literally will not stop giving them to you as long as you keep asking for them. You don't have to drop them on the floor anymore, so he thinks you haven't got one. Even if you have them in your inventory, he will just say, what, another one? And then he will just give you another one. These sell on the Grand Exchange, from my experience, at around about 2.2k each or something like that. Not anything dramatically good, but 2.2k every time you do this is good considering you have no money and it's just going to get you that money to get yourself started. After finding this now, this is likely what I will replace collecting cabbages with in the future whenever I do challenges and stuff like that. So this is definitely good to know. I do believe you can bring magic notepaper and increase the amount of money you could make per hour here, but I would just check the price of notepaper and make sure it actually works out. Otherwise, just buy them quickly teleport to like wars or something or run upstairs and bank them and then run back down it, it wouldn't make much difference but notepaper may save you a little bit of time making you a little bit more money Next up is something that I always recommend in videos like this because it's just the best way to actually do it. It may be slower in some situations and it may not be what you want to hear. But in RuneScape, progressing your character is the absolute best way to make money. And if you are stuck on low level money making methods, then you want to be progressing your character. Absolutely. But this, of course, was making money with no input whatsoever, like no GP to begin with. So this definitely fits in here any gathering skill in the game such as for example mining or woodcutting or fishing or archaeology you can do divination hunter all these sort of things you can go and do those and turn a profit from absolutely zero if you have a fishing rod you can go fish fish if you have a net you can do the same if you, you can just go dig and do archaeology you can go chop some trees you kind of get where this is going this is also better in my opinion than pretty much everything else on this list because it's going to also give you xp as well you're going to be increasing the levels of your character and this is the better way to start making more money you are going to have to invest time and xp and gold into your character to start making more money it's just the way it is so i would suggest this over anything else in here but if you are purely just looking for like a little bit of gp to get started and then you're going to invest that into your character anyway then of course it makes sense that you may want to make a couple mil more per hour however moving around the actual different skilling methods you will find some decent ones you are going to have to put a little bit of research in and see what's what but honestly this is probably what i would suggest to most people 
If you are looking for something that is very easy to do though, and it costs absolutely nothing, but also gives you around about 3 million GP per hour, you can come here and collect white berries and just do that. You just collect the white berries, you turn them to the Grand Exchange, you sell them off, and this makes around about 3 million GP per hour. I do believe there is a spawn for these as well in the wilderness. However, I would assume that is gonna take you a lot longer to get to and from. So this one seems like the most ideal place to go. You don't need to world hop because these respawn at stupidly quick. You just just sit here afk and you just pick up the white berries every time they spawn you could bring a beast of burden like a yak with you and you could chuck them in there and that way you don't have to teleport out as often but uh, other than that that's pretty much all there is to it i guess you could also use note paper but i would assume that's going to cut into your cost too much if you really don't want to bank i guess you could do that but uh, you just teleport to wars put them in the bank teleport back to the lodestone run away you can see my character running now and then pick them back up and teleport again super duper boring put around about 3 million gp per hour and cost you nothing so we're going to end on this one and i hate this method but it is something that is kind of at the moment too good not to mention it doesn't cost you nothing to get started but you go pick up some cabbages for, for literally three minutes and then you can start with this so you, this is the next step that you would go right I hate talking about this, but it is what it is. We are going to be cutting granite. At the moment, granite buys ridiculously low. I don't know why, if there's a reason in game this is happening or something like that. I genuinely have no idea. But even if it doesn't, you usually make around about 5 mil an hour doing this. I was getting around about 8 mil an hour because the granite was just buying so damn cheap, which is crazy like i say i don't know if this is the reason for this or not but if the price goes back up to mid price then you're still going to be making a profit as long as you just keep track of that now i want to stress enough like i want to make sure you guys are clear the reason i hate mentioning this is because the prices of stuff like this fly all over the freaking place like all over the place it may change the second this video is released it may not just check the prices before you spend a lot of money on the stuff maybe do it in small chunks at a time like buy a hundred of them cut them sell them and do it like that and if the profit margin changes too much then just stop doing it and do something else that being said at the moment i was buying these for like just under 600 gp each and then cutting them and selling them for like over a thousand gp each and obviously you get four in each so i was making like 4k profit on each of these like like more than that even that's crazy i don't know why it's so much at the moment i'm assuming this will affect the price a little bit but if it stays uh, similar to that then this is pretty decent for zero requirements whatsoever seeing as you don't need a crafting level to actually cut this you just need a chisel but you start with one of those anyway so a little bit of starting gp pick a few cabbages sell them on ge buy a few granites cut them sell them and just keep increasing how much you can buy each time it'll work like I say, please check this. I Just be careful with it. I, I hate this method so freaking much. It's actually something I make a, a, a joke out of all the time. But right now, it fits into this video. So there we go. So there we go. There's five ways you can make money without spending money. Except for the last one, you just need to pick a few cabbages first. And then you can get started with that as well. And you should be fine. As always, expect the prices I have given you during this video to change slightly. And some of them may change dramatically. Some of them may change very little. So just keep an eye on that. But most of these in here will likely stay pretty much absolutely relevant. Seeing as it's picking cabbages. Everyone knows about that. Collecting anti-dragon shields should be fine. Picking white berries hasn't changed for a long time as well. And of course, skill is by far the best way to do it and that's likely not going to change because i didn't give any specific methods it was just guys please focus on leveling your character that's what you want to do anyway i hope you found this video useful if you did please leave a like sub to the channel if you are new and i will just quickly mention that the patron does have a lot more content as well if you're interested in that and i'm still posting new content on there uh, you can chuck a dollar over there and support the channel and at the same time unlocking all those videos that you can go back and watch if you do thank you very much otherwise channel members and current patron subs as well thank you all so much for supporting the channel i appreciate it so so much and everybody for watching and leaving likes and stuff i appreciate you all too and i'll catch you all in the next one see you later guys bye